Hey guys, welcome back to Spraytel, and today I've got my top five current blue fragrances that I'm really enjoying these days. So when you talk about blue fragrances, you might be asking the question if you're pretty new to the fragrance game, what is a blue fragrance? So I had to look this up myself. I was like, you know, I've been using this term blue fragrances for a while, like, you know, for ages, for years. What is an actual blue fragrance? So I kind of went online because it wasn't super obvious. Is it the blue bottle? Is it like the color of the, the juice in, in the bottle? Or is it kind of how it smells? Is it something like that? And what I realized was, well, online, it kind of says that a blue fragrance is not a distinct fragrance family. So it's not a family, guys. And it's a subcategory which describes a particular olfactory profile. Now, what is that profile? It is a sense of freshness and invoking imagery of the sea and the sky. So it's kind of generic, it's pretty random, and yeah, I'm still not 100% clear on what a blue fragrance is, but I'm gonna try to give you my top five blue sounding fragrances or blue smelling fragrances. Um, by the way, on Reddit, they say it's typically more of a fresh and aromatic, mass appealing scent. For example, Dior Sauvage or Bleu de Chanel. So yeah, I don't know if that makes it any clearer, but yeah, who knows? All right, let's 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 go ahead with my top five blue fragrances. And starting at number one, I've got one which isn't really classified as a blue fragrance. So this is, um, I don't think anybody's like mentioned this might be a blue fragrance, but to me, when I was thinking about it and looking at my collection, I think this is a blue fragrance. So this is uh, Supremacy in Heaven by Afnan. <laughs> So it comes in this beautiful bottle. It yeah, it's it it looks really nice. It is blue in color. This is a beautiful fragrance, and it's really surprising because I was I was wearing this yesterday. It was my scent of the day yesterday, and it lasted a long time. It initially this seems like a really light fragrance, and I think it's a clone of um, one of the Creed fragrances. I can't remember exactly. I'll put it in a comment. Up here. This is amazing. Um, so initially you get like a, a really marine sort of aquatic blue blue skies vibe. I definitely get the sky aspect of this which is why I picked this as a blue fragrance and oh yeah it is really good. It is actually quite strong, but it's a light fragrance and it dries down to be a bit more powdery, a bit more musky and light, but it's kind of always there. So like yesterday I was wearing it, I was like, okay, it's probably gone. Like I wasn't really thinking about my fragrance and it felt like it wasn't there. But every now and then, like I, I put it on my shirt and one on my neck and with these kind of, I think this is like a, an Arabian brand, Afnan. Um, I don't really like putting it on my skin too much because I've heard bad stories about it kind of the quality is not like super great in terms of putting it on your skin um, and it might give you some irritation but to me to be honest it was fine but I still put it a bit on my my clothes and like I was saying every now and then I would get whiffs of it and I'd be like oh wow it's still there six hours later I was like oh wow that's me it's still there and you know I'd be like wearing jack like a, a spring jacket and it wouldn't rub off on the spring jacket like it would still be on my shirt and on on my skin I don't know if it stayed there to be honest but I definitely felt it on my clothes so this is one that hangs around guys and it's, it's a beautiful smell you have to try it so the notes in this one are bergamot and mandarin orange in the top the orange, I might get a hint of it, but to be honest, it's not super, it just smells fresh. It just reminds me of blue skies and maybe even the sea. So, I mean, it, it kind of covers the blue fragrance kind of standard at the top. And then in the mid notes, you've got black currant and green tea, which is probably the fruity vibe that I'm getting. Can't say I would detect green tea in this, but definitely the black currant is kind of the fruity vibe in the kind of mid, of this fragrance and on the dry down well on the on the base notes you've got musk sandalwood and woodsy notes so i definitely get the musk and i definitely get like a woody 
from the sandalwood woody notes um so yeah i mean that's this is a great fragrance and I'd, i definitely recommend it so that's my number one just put that there great let's go ahead to something completely well slightly different and it's from salvatore ferragamo and it's called aqua essenziale blue so this one was easy to pick because it has blue in the name as you can see and this is a cheapy guys and it kind of pushes above its kind of cost weight it smells like a um a rich fragrance and it is quite surprising like it it's great value for your money so if you're looking for something cheap which is a blue fragrance which isn't your sauvage which isn't kind of the typical blue fragrance that people, everybody's wearing, Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, like everybody's got those. You don't wanna smell like everyone else. You wanna still smell sophisticated, classy, and stuff like that. This one is a great one. And it's very different from the one I, from the Afnan that I just sprayed. So this one is really smooth on the opening, sweet and aromatic. And it dries down to a bit more of a rich smell. It's slightly sweet in the dry down, but it's not too loud. It's kind of, I think this would be more of a skin scent or kind of less projection, less loud, but really nice when people get whiffs of it. Doesn't last super long, maybe like six hours max, I think, but you can respray it and it would be great. It would last you a couple of hours and you'd smell really sophisticated, really nice, but not over the top and not screechy and not kind of annoying people. So you could even wear this to the office, I would say. Um, top notes in this are lemon, bergamot and cardamom. So I think cardamom is kind of detectable. It gives it more of the aromatic, spicy sort of opening. It's, it's a bit fresh on the top, which probably the lemon and bergamot, but like the, yeah, it, I don't get a huge citrusy sort of vibe from this. Um, the mid is lavender, cypriol oil, and cedar. I think that gives, gives it more of an aromatic kind of scent profile and a, a bit of a wood, woody scent profile. The base is tonka bean ambroxan, which is kind of like just in everything, in a lot of different things to kind of give it, it's kind of like a a ghost note in a sense that you don't really smell it, but it kind of just smells good in my experience anyway. Benzoin and patchouli also in the base. Now the benzoin might give it that smooth and sort of vanilla caramel not caramel, but vanilla sort of vibe. And the patchouli gives it that earthy, woody, sweet, musky, smell and the tonka probably gives it a bit of sweetness too but yeah that's a great one super cheap so definitely check out aqua essenziale bleu by salvatore ferragamo you can get it online pretty cheap so let's let's go to number three which is the ralph lauren polo eau de parfum so not the original which is a classic oldie, but it's the Eau de Parfum, which is slightly newer. And this one is a bit lighter, um, I would say. It's better for hotter days. I would definitely wear this one in on a really hot day. Oh, that's, really, that's actually really fresh. So I'm getting like fresh vibes, aquatic vibes. Like I can kind of smell like sea salty aquatic vibes very clean, very fresh, just like you you want to smell out of the shower kind of, but this this also dries down to um, more of a salty aquatic and beachy kind of dry down. Pretty similar, pretty linear in its kind of scent profile, um, doesn't really change too much. And this is just like a, an easy reach, like you would just go for this and you can kind of you not worry too much about it. People are not going to find this offensive or anything. The notes in this, top notes, sea notes. So I definitely get that. The sea notes are definitely prominent. That's why I was getting the aquatic sort of vibe. Bergamot and cardamom again, surprisingly. Uh, the, I don't really get cardamom to be honest. The mid has basil verbena, which is a lemony sweetie, sweet kind of fruit. Clarisage 
which seems to be in a lot of different things. Um, ba basil, by the way, I don't really get basil. And orris. I don't really get an irisy orris kind of smell, but maybe that's just me. Um, in the base, there's suede, vetiver, woodsy notes, and patchouli. And to be honest, maybe a hint of suede. I don't really get that. Don't really get super earthy vibes. Maybe a bit of woody vibes and patchouli. Maybe the muskiness, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty linear. I don't know if all of those notes are actually very prominent in this fragrance, but definitely check that one out. Easy reach, great for super hot conditions and a great blue fragrance by Ralph Lauren Polo, which you can always rely on. And we're gonna have another Polo coming up soon. But before that, I've got my number four, which is YSL Y EDP. Yeah, this is the EDP. So they have EDT versions of this, um, which was the initial release. And then they had, I think this EDP, they have the Parfum, they have an Intense also, which I think is EDP concentration. But this is one of probably my favorite out of the bunch. I do like the Intense also. Actually, I like them all. But this one is the only one that I have. So I liked this probably the most out of all of them so far. And this is really a lot more powerful than the other three that I've got here. It lasts longer. It's a lot more louder. It's a lot more mass appealing. I think everybody, if you wear this, people will definitely smell it. You might be generic because a lot of people might have a similar scent profile and maybe this exact uh, fragrance, but people will like it. The opening is very sweet, I would say. Very ar aromatic, oh yeah. It is definitely aromatic compared to the others. I guess the Salvatore Fragon is slightly aromatic as well. It's a very addictive smell. The opening is beautiful. You're gonna fall in love with this, like when you spray this on. And it's very loud, like I said, it'll linger around. You'll smell it the whole day. Everybody else will smell it around you. Um, it projects probably the most out of these. It's got like a fuzziness to it as well. And it dries down to being a bit less loud, still aromatic, sweet, dark, um, a bit darker, and still fuzzy in the nose. It doesn't really change a lot. Um, maybe the, the loudness dies down, obviously, like after a couple of hours. Uh, but it's pretty linear. It's very mass appealing. Some people like that, some people don't. Some people want to be unique, but if you just want to smell great, then, and you want other people to smell you, then definitely try the YSL Y EDP. Now the notes in this are, on the top you've got apple, so that's different. That's probably the sweetness that I'm getting. Yep, ginger, which gives it a bit of spiciness, um, bergamot. Uh, the mid notes are sage, juniper, geranium. Geranium giving it the fresh floral vibe. Juniper giving it a bit of a woody, spicy, sort of fruity vibe. But there's a lot of fragrances I've noticed with sage and juniper. One coming up too, but um, I think, yeah, this I, I do like fragrances with sage and juniper, it seems. Uh, the base has amber wood, which gives it like a sweet fuzziness, and maybe that's that fuzziness that I'm getting in my nose. Tonka, vetiver, cedar, and olibanum, which is an interesting note. The olibanum would be like apparently a chemical sort of orangey piney sort of fragrant smell, which I don't know if I can detect that, but maybe it's whatever is different and unique in the base that I'm smelling. So yeah, that is a great one. Definitely check that one out. So last one, number five, we're finally getting there guys. It's another one that looks very similar to this one because it's by Ralph Lauren and it's a new one and it's Polo 67. So this is really amazing. Like, I mean, I was at the Ralph Lauren store and I was trying, I just wanted to check out the fragrances really. I saw them in the corner and this is in Oxford Street and um, they had the original Ralph Lauren Polo Blue, which isn't this one, but like they had, it looks like that. And then they had the EDP and then they had this as a new one and it was just sitting there on the side 
And I was like, cool, Polo 67. I wonder what that smells like. And they had Ralph's Club, which I don't have here. It's kind of, it looks different. It's got black, it's black with like a flip open lid. But this, guys, is like amazing. It's kind of in between the original Polo Ralph Lauren and um, the Ralph Lauren Blue, or the Polo Blue, or whatever it's called. Um, it's between that, or maybe in between this and Ralph's Club. So it's got a kind of aromatic scent profile that Ralph's Club has that kind of turned down. And I, I didn't, to be honest, I got Ralph's Club when it first came out and I sold it because I didn't like the kind of huge aromatic hit that it gave me and the super sweetness to me. It was just like sweetness off, off the top, like 11 out of 10 on the scale of sweetness. And it was insane. And I'm kind of growing to like it a bit more in the air. Like when I, when I go to the shops and I, I kind of spray it on a, on a piece of paper. Um, it, it smells really nice and I think it would be good. Like I think dry down would be a lot better on that. Maybe I just don't like the opening. But this, when I smelt it, I was like, hmm. This is just really nice, like off the top, like it's just really sort of... Anybody would like this and like a lady was walking by when I sprayed this and she was just like... I just came in here because it kind of smelt so good and she was like looking at all the fragrances and I was like yeah definitely get this one. And she just walked, she ended up not buying anything at that point. But it was just interesting that she liked whatever was kind of sprayed in that room when I was spraying this. This is amazing. So it's really, it's kind of sweet, not as sweet as this one, which I like. It's aromatic, it's very noticeable, it's easy wearing, and it's got like that fuzziness, but less of it, which I like, I prefer that. It makes it easier to wear, to be honest. Top notes are bergamot, pineapple, June, uh, uh, bergamot, pineapple, and lemon. So do I get pineapple? Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. <sighs> Mid notes are juniper sage. So again, we got the juniper and the sage, which seem to be used a lot. And rosehip, which is an interesting one. It's a floral tarty kind of smell. And I guess I get that a bit. Um, it gives it uniqueness, I think. In the base, we've got vetiver, patchouli, and something weird called goldenrod, which is a flower, I think. And it just gives it that nice floral vibe and really fresh. You could wear this in maybe like spring, summer, uh, autumn, maybe even the winter. It's, uh, it's super easy and I've been reaching for this quite a lot surprisingly and I just chucked this in my bag to be honest. I had this the other day and I took it to central London in my bag and it's one of those that I, I'm not like oh my god this is like so precious I need to like keep this safe and all like it's, it's kind of just like an easy reach fragrance and that's what you want sometimes from fragrances you don't want to be like oh my god i don't want to use this it's like too expensive or it's too crazy and it's too powerful and you know are people gonna like it do i need to be formal do i not need to be formal this you could just not worry about it just wear it you're gonna smell it the whole day and people are gonna like it so definitely recommend this and it's it's a beautiful bottle so yeah that these are my five current blue fragrances that I'm kind of wearing that I'm interested in and hope you like that hope you like this review if you have any of these please comment in the description in sorry please comment in the comments below and please like and sub sub subscribe please like and subscribe and hopefully see you on the next one